What is up YouTube? My name is Ku Show, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys the easiest way possible to make really high quality emotes. If you've just become affiliated on Twitch and you really need to get these emotes and sub badges out of the way, and you're not trying to pay someone $40 just for a single emote, this video is for you. I'm sure you recognize this emote right here. It is one of the most famous emotes on Twitch and one of the original emotes. It's called Kappa. And if you would like to learn how to make emotes, please stay tuned and watch this video. I'd also like to let you know that if you do not have the program to make these emotes, or if you just don't really see the time, I also sell emotes on Fiverr. I will have links in the description down below. And I charge the bare minimum. They're very affordable and I do a very good job at making them. That's half the reason I'm making this video is because when I first became affiliated, instead of spending money to have someone else make me them, I decided I would make them myself because I was very familiar with Photoshop and I've been using it for a very long time. So let's jump into that video and I will walk you through this. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Photoshop. and change the aspect ratio to 112 by 112 pixels. And this will be your large emote. Go to File New again. You're gonna to wanna to create the medium emote now, which is 56 by 56 pixels. And then finally, File New, and the small emote, which is going to be 28 by 28 pixels. Then after you've created all three canvas sizes, you're going to want to go to File, Save As, and save each emote size as a .psd file, so you have a permanent solution. Now you can go ahead and grab your picture and put that into Photoshop. Now a lot of people would want you to mask this out, but instead for simplistic reasons, we're going to go ahead and just use the quick select tool and just delete the background. The main reason a lot of people prefer masking is in case you ever need to go back and preserve some of the image, because once you delete it, it's gone forever. So right here, I use a quick command where I hold alt to resize the image without destro destroying the shape of that image. And then I use a little technique here that I kind of figured out myself where I just put a little mark in each corner to make sure that the image is actually squared so when I go to resize it again it won't be trying to resize it as a rectangle. That way I can, after I copy this image and move to the second canvas size and I paste it, I can just hold shift and it will quickly lock to the corner and then I can just go in and erase the marks that I made in each corner.
it's a very good solution for solving this problem. Now I can just hold shift and it'll lock right to the corner. Zoom in a little bit and erase my pre-made marks. I can also use the background so I can see the pixels a little bit better to make sure that I have erased every single pixel. Then you're going to want to save them as .png files because the .png file is the only image file that will allow you to have a transparent background. Go ahead and save all three of them as .png. Save them to whichever location is best for you. I just use the desktop in this scenario. And as you can see here, I kind of end up using the white background to just make sure I've, I've erased all the black pixels. And I notice that there is some remaining. And I take a little bit more time on the large emote because the large emote is the one that you're going to see the most. The smaller ones don't necessarily matter as much as the large emote. So I remove the white background again, and I save the image file as a .png file. I have absolutely removed all previous pixels. Sometimes I actually save this one before I even make the black marks for the other resizing. Now that you have all three images saved to your desktop, you can now upload them on Twitch in your affiliate section under emoticons. And you upload all three sizes and wait for approval. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and have a nice day.